Welcome to the Druid UCS tutorials. Today we will look at getting Druid UCS to work with Zocom. So to, in order to set up Druid UCS for Zocom, you need to install Druid UCS on a server, whether that's an XR2000, XR3000 server. In order to do that, you need to install using a USB CD-ROM and we need to configure the BIOS for the, the XR2000 and XR3000 server followed by configuring the Zocom Zeptel modules so we will be doing this uh, today first of all when you boot up your Zocom XR2000 or 3000 server you will go to the BIOS and in the BIOS in the boot menu kindly go to and make sure that you put the USB devices first and then you go to advanced and under the USB configuration you need to ensure that the USB ports all these settings are enabled the USB ports is enabled, the USB 2.0 is enabled and the USB legacy is enabled this will enable most standard USB CD-ROM to work with the XR2000, XR3000 box and once you finish installing Druid UCS you can come to the web portal and log in as admin admin to become an administrator and now we're going to configure the Zocom FXS modules or just click on hardware wizard on the main page and you see all the 38 FXS input and out as well as input and output so it's 32 FXS and extra 6 input and output for alarms and relays none of this is configured example you will now configure one just one part just press configure and it automatically configures now we have the other 37 left so we just configure all and it asks you to confirm the action and voila you're done truly plug and play so you can see all 38 FXS including 6 for input and output so now each of the FXS module is not associated with an extension we need to associate with an extension so now we can click on manage for extensions once you click on that you will bring us to the extension management page which is empty so you can either add it right there or we can go to the add extension wizard as shown and under there you can click on analog phone and you can type in the extension and all the relevant details like name, email, and voicemail pin. And we have something really cool in the device combo right here, where you can actually see all the available FXS ports that you can associate an extension with. So right now we have one FXS port one, and you save and now extension 1000 is associated with FXS port 1 next we'll do is to manage this extension and you'll see an example right there extension 1000 and you can further configure things we're going to configure additional FXS ports and we will just click add extension and add the relevant details there save and this is really cool we can do an attach and detach in this case we're going to attach an FXS port to the extension we're going to add another FXS port so for 1002 so we will have three FXS ports configured so 1002 has just been created so we could attach it to port 2 FXS port 2 you can see it's created for extension 1001 now I'm going to do it for extension 1002 just associate with port 3 now you can see 1001 has port 2 and 1002 has port 3 we have the full ability to do extension mobility and swap any ports so we can detach extension 1002 and 1001 both now we're detaching both and we can swap now and have 1001 as analog port 3 
and extension 1002 as analog port 2. So this is really powerful when you can have a user who moves from 